Hi, my name is Steve. The question is, why do I give? And I, I'd have to say that my, my response has evolved over the years. When I was a kid, um, I gave because my parents told me to. Um, as a youth, I gave because it was clear that the Bible called me to. As a young adult, I did it as an act of obedience, but probably more out of fear of not being in good standing with the Almighty. But at some point I started to realize that I was playing a game of math and semantics and trying to figure out, do I give on the gross, do I give on the net? And while those are well-meaning, I was really asking all the wrong questions because it really wasn't a academic question, it was a heart question. And so I had to wrestle with, do I believe that he is who he says he is? And either you do or you don't. Either he is the creator of the universe, he is um, king of kings, lord of lords, or he isn't. And so if I'm going to give him my life and trust him as savior, then I can't hang on to the checkbook and play games. When I was little, um, I gave because I felt like I had to. Then I realized over time, over many years, that I get to. God has entrusted me as a steward of all that is his. Um, so I actually look forward to opportunities to be in a position to give. And I give because I want to. So why do I give to this church? This is a place I call home. And so if I'm going to give, if I'm going to invest, I'm going to give here first. And then beyond that is time and finances permit. I'm going to look for opportunities to um, give on many levels. But it's exciting to just see God at work and then get to partner with him um, in what he's already doing and recognize that... Um, isn't a burden, it's really a blessing to get to participate in what he's already doing.